So today I'm going to get you up and running with one of the most infamous and I think really highly underrated consoles of the early to mid 90s and that's the 3DO. So for people new to the 3DO there's actually a few different manufacturers who produced the 3DO but the most famous one is obviously Panasonic. We also had a Gold Star 3DO model by obviously Gold Star manufacturing that and we also had an LG 3DO. So there's a few things I'm going to talk about in this video. And this 3DO is one of my favorite consoles, believe it or not. I'm going to really make a big deal out of this video. And I'm going to show you some really cool games, which you might not have played yet. I'm also going to go through the video settings as always. And I'm going to make some recommendations for you to check some of these 3DO games out. It truly is a great underrated system. And I love the 3DO, so check this one out. <laughs> Okay then, so if you're new to my channel and you like what you see today, hit notifications and subscribe. It's going to get you video content for Retrobat and beyond as I upload it. It also helps my channel out greatly. So we're talking the 3DO today. So there's a few different models of it and games were on disc. So majorly a flop in its day and that was due to one of the reasons it was a new technology at the time and it was around £800 and this was in the early 90s, around 94 93 to 994 and then obviously the launch of the first playstation didn't help matters it was a lot cheaper so we're looking at the 3do then so let's get up and going with this so first thing as i always suggest is just right click on your retro bat shortcut and if we go to open file location bat gui and from here we're going to go to the system list and I always say this, but if you see nothing here, which I can see right now with all these names of systems, then take a look at my main setup guide for Retrobat. It's quite likely you're missing some installation files when you install to Retrobat. So as we can see here, we got 3 year right at the top. And our file extensions for our games are going to need to be in .m3u extension, uh, which you can actually do through BatGUI. Uh, we got the dot bin and dot q extension dot iso is quite likely the most popular one alongside dot bin and dot q and in my case today i'm using the dot chd extension and obviously the dot chd extension reduces space with your games and actually believe it or not in retro bat bat gui we've actually got an option here which is under chd manager to actually change the extensions of say your dot bin q files or dot isos and you can actually use this chd manager to convert things into dot chd which is obviously gonna leave you much more space for more games or whatever you want to do with your hard drives or usb sticks so we've established which file extensions we want and what i'm going to do is just go to roms and we got 3do here and what i'm going to do first is just drag a few of my favorite 3DO games in, and like I said, I'm a big 3DO fan, and literally I could have filled this up if I had the games with probably 20 plus games. There really are some hidden gems on the 3DO. So I'm going to just drag these into my ROMs 3DO folder within Retrobat. And if we back out of here and back out again, we're going to go to BIOS. And in BIOS, I'm going to drag in what Retrobat is requesting for these files. So we got the goldstar.bin, we got the Panasonic FZ1.bin, and we got the Panasonic FZ10.bin. And these are the three BIOS files you're going to need to play your 3DO games in Retrobat. So let's just drag these inside of the Retrobat BIOS folder. And they don't need to go into a subfolder. They can just be placed in here as so, like I've just done, so they're loose. So what we're going to do next is just back out of here, back out of here. Let's open up Retrobat. Okay, so we're inside Retrobat now, and this is Artflix theme I'm using every now and again. Uh, someone will ask me, what theme is this you're using? But as we can see, this is Artflix, and there's many good themes for Retrobat. And what I'm going to do at some point on my channel is show you how to manually 
install themes if uh, themes from your theme downloader within RetroMap doesn't work. So let's get on with this. We're going to scroll down and we're going to see Panasonic uh, 3DO Real, Panasonic the Real World. And of course, this is Gex. So if we go in here and I'm going to scrape some artwork from my game. So main menu, scraper and scrape now. Uh, talking about Gex, if you're not aware, there's actually a remaster package coming out for three of the Gex games, I believe. So that's going to be really cool when they release. OK, so scrape and finish, update game list and apply. So we're going to go to game settings and update game lists. Really update game lists. Yes. And here we go. So Escape from Monster Manor, it's an old school, almost Doom clone, I suppose. So there's a multitude of those coming out around this sort of time. Everyone's trying to catch on with sets of Doom. Uh, we got Starblade, which is a very cool uh, shooter game, on route shooter. And you know what, for a console such as the 3DO, uh, people slags this off, but yet people are the first to say that Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo is quite likely the best port of this game. And yeah, it's a really good port. And going down, we got Wolfenstein 3D. So of course, this is very similar to Doom. So what I'm going to do is just open up Escape from Monster Manor. And here we go, complete with decorations on the sides. But I'm going to show you in a minute how to disable these. So as we can see, that's really fluid gameplay. The visuals are pretty good, to be fair, with this already. Uh, what we're going to do next then is just go into View Options, Advanced System Options. And if we go under Emulator, we got two cores here. So Libretro is RetroArch course, and we got 4DO, which I highly recommend for 3DO games. We've also got Libretro Opera, and we got Phoenix. Now, if you leave this to Auto, it's automatically going to be using Libretro 4DO, and I totally recommend recommends the 4DO core. So let's take a look at the video options. We got shader set and normally I go for enhance, but you've got different shader sets here. So these act a lot like filters. For example, we got scan lines just there. Now scan lines isn't particularly my thing. So I'm going to set shader set actually to enhanced. And we're going to go to decorations and I'm going to turn off that Panasonic 3DO decoration and i'm going to just go to none game aspect ratio now some people on my channel occasionally say oh you know it's not designed for 16 by 9 but that's obviously the case these games were in a time when 4 by 3 was the standard pretty much but i do like to be different and i'm going to go to 16 by 9 enter goes scaling i'm going to make sure this one's on on vertical sync i'm going to put to yes as always this is going to reduce screen tear in 3d games mainly and if we go down to visual rendering just here, we got bilinear filtering and to enhance your old games, then always make sure this one's on. It kind of reduces the screen size from full screen, from full size a little bit, but it kind of compresses things. It just makes the image that much sharper and a bit more fresher looking. So with these applied, let's try out Escape from Monster Manor again.
So this week is see that's really looking nice and smart. It's looking really clean. So let me show you something else. If we go into view options again, advanced system options, and we go to emulator, if I go down to Phoenix, you'll find that the Phoenix emulator has very little options compared with the 4DO core from Lib Liberetro. So that's why I say partly the reason, just go ahead and use Liberetro 4DO. It really is the best. And it's also got a standalone emulator. So if you're interested in that, check out my standalone console emulator. So I did a setup guide on 4DO a little while back. So for now, let's just go back and change all these settings to auto. Let's check out one of my favorite games, Starblade. Roger, Elvis. So as we can see, typical on the rail shooter, which is quite typical of the 3DO games, also a space shooter, which again is very typical for 3DO games of that time. So let's manipulate the settings again. So view options, advanced system options, shader set, I'm going to go for curvature this time. And this is going to give us a almost TV rounded edge image. So decorations for this needs to be to none. Game aspect ratio, again, I'm going to just go for 16 by 9 on this. Integer scaling, I select on. Vertical sync, in case we get any screen tear, just make sure this is checked to yes. And if we go down a bit further, visual rendering, bilinear filtering, I put to on. And let's back out and let's go back into Starblade. And this game looks really fabulous with these settings applied. It looks great. And of course, I'm probably BIOS because I am a, I'm a big 3DO geek at heart. I love it. I think it's the quirkiness of the 3DO which is really appealing for me. It's just a really bizarre, quirky system. Roger, Elise. Prepare. As we can see that curvature filter I've applied, or rather the curvature enhancement, it looks really awesome. And to be fair, I think I'm going to use that one a bit more often. So next up, I'm going to do everyone's favorite port of Street Fighter 2 Turbo, or rather Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. So again, for this one, advanced system options, let's turn everything off. Let's see how this looks with default settings.
So I think it's safe to say that T Hawk just kicked my. So yeah, great game and a really good port as well of this one. So again, let's go to video options, advanced system options, shader set. I'm gonna go for enhanced again this time. I do like the curvature shader set I applied a minute ago, but enhanced really is my one I prefer. So decorations, I'm gonna go to none. Game aspect ratio to 16 by nine. Integer scaling to on. Vertical sync to on or yes rather, and if we go down to visual rendering and just make sure this one is on and we're good to go. One, fight! So yeah, I think it's safe to say that I'm not too great at this game anymore, or I'm going to blame it on that infamous 3DO controller that you could buy back in the day, which was really odd to control. I don't have one of those. I'm using my PS3 controller, so that's my excuse. So that's it for my Retrobat and Panasonic, LG, or even Gold Star 3DO setup guide today. I hope I've got you some really good settings there. And it's a great system. It really has got some hidden gems. Uh, we're talking Burning Soldier is another great game. Qu Captain Quasar is another really good game. And Burning Soldier, really, really cool underrated games on the 3DO. So if you're new to my channel, like I said, please hit subscribe. And also be sure to hit notification so you don't miss my up coming content for Retrobat and Launchbox and Retrowatch and I'm currently doing a series on Android emulation so check those out as well with that's your thing. Also check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok but until next time stay retro!